So this video is for Programming Challenge 7.1 Conference Registration. And it's create an application that calculates the registration fees for a conference at $8.95 per person. Also optional dinner for $30 and optional pre-conference workshops here. So the first two are $2.95 and the second two are $3.95. I just had to go back and change my code because I only programmed it for two ninety five for all of them. So then this is what the first form is supposed to look like. And then this is what the second form is supposed to look like. And it's supposed to calculate the total and put it here in your total label down here. So It gives you the tip for a global variable to hold the total cost, which is, I mean, we've done that. So anyway, what I did is you make your conference form first, and this is a label, name label. So there's eight of these total, and then there's this label, and then this is the, your total amount label. So... What I did, I went down and put them here. And this is the thing, you got your address here. You got address and then you state and then city and zip. So what I did was when I, I didn't realize that until after I started doing it, which I went and, oops, can I move this? Yeah, there we go. So I changed the focus on here or the tab index, I should say here to be four. So this is one, two, or zero, one, two, three. And then this, this would be four here. And then I did that also after I put the, um, so in the tab index, it'll go to here first, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight and nine. So, and the, to change the tab index, you just go into here and click and change whatever number. It starts counting as zero. So that's one thing. Then you put their buttons on here. You got your reset. Th that just clears your form, all your labels and your text fields. Then you exit your form. And then you got to put a, another additional form here. So to do that, you go to conferences. You select your your um your project whoops Where's that select your right click on your project and go down to add you go down to windows forms and i'm not going to already add it once so i don't need to add one whoops that's not what i wanted there we go so then when you have your additional i call it options form so your options form, you have, this is a uh, group box. And then you just copy and paste your group box over there. And then in the group box, the first group box, you put your check box for your registration cost. And then your optional opening night dinner. And then this is another label because on the page on here, see how it says, so that's a label right there. That's a label in the group box. So you click here and then in your collection of items to get them to line up correctly. What I did was I just tabbed or one on the first one. I tabbed it once and on the second one, I don't, let me see if I use spaces or no, that's two tabs. And then the third one, it's just one tab. And then the fourth one is two tabs. So that's that's your, your on your keyboard, your two tabs. So that's that. And then I added an additional button to calculate because you could use the close event to do it. And this just resets the form again. But I just put a calculate button because it's, it's just simpler that way. And I don't think it really matters. So, whoops, go over here, and you can 
toggle between whatever form you want to be on in here. That's your code window. That's your form. So if we run it, make sure you save it up here uh, before you do anything. So we'll run it. It didn't really say to do any error handling in the names or anything, so we didn't. I didn't add any error handling in here. See how if I hit the tab, it tabbed over to the state here. And then that goes to your phone number. And your email address. And you've got to select your options first. So if we do option, and these, the first two are the same amount. So you can only, you only have to use one variable for this. I mean, you can, I, I programmed it for all the variables, but you can program it in your actual code. You can you only have to use one variable here. So we go there, we'll calculate the total and it calculates correct. And so if we reset it again, yeah. And let's try the three ninety five. And that calculates and also in the list box, let's I'll show you this really quick. That you only have you can only because of the um the option in the list box which um, it's not multi selections or um, I can't remember what that in the properties window. So, so now you see, I, I did program a, a error input for you have to select a registration. So select. Let's see, so it makes you have to do the conference. And you got to select an item in the list box too. So, and that comes out correct. So let's take a look at the code really quick on this. So on the select options box, this is where I declared all the variables and the new form. I declared them all as strings, and then I initialized them to take in the value of the, each text box here. And then this is to the other form. I called it opt form. Then you show it. You could do show dialog, but then you have to do one or the other. But show show works good with the, in this case. And so that's that's the program for. for that. Now if we go over to the options form on the calculate button, I, did, I initially I did this as a function and like, and you could just do it on, on the close event up in here before it closes the form out. But the first thing you want to do is you want to declare a bunch of, of public variables. So this is the, the registration amount is 895 and I declared it as a decimal. And then the dinner is $30. I declared it as a decimal. 295 for the e-commerce, 295 for web, 395 for visual basic, 395 for networking. And then I use two different totals for one for this up here. And then one for to add in to these. So anyway, this clears the, the the check buttons. So what we did, you remember we had a what was it? Yeah, software sales, and also we added this the the program for adding students. You remember how we did this? If the index was selected, it was minus one. Then we did the message box show, please. With the general items from the message box. I took that piece of code and put it in here. 
So if the check box, the registration check box is registered, registered, uh, checked, and the dinner is checked, then the total amount equals the reg amount plus the dinner amount. And then here you put the total, this total, on your form, your conference form, in the label total amount text, and you have to convert it to a string first. Else, if just the, the registration is checked, then the registration amount is total registration. Then you put that total in your conference form. Else, if it is not checked, if it's false, then message box, you must select your registration, which we saw that. And then put another if statement. So if nothing in your list box is selected, then you have to select items from your list box, an item. Else, if options selected. So your index on your items starts counting at zero. So your first item in here, intro to e-commerce is zero. So, and list box item selected is less than two. So that's zero, one, the zero is the first one, second one's the second. So those are both 295. So I just use the same variable for that one. And then you put the total cost equals plus total amount. And then you display that total in your conference form in the label. And then you have to convert it to a string. And then I, what I said is, here's where you would add additional code for each list box variable. Since each list box is the same cost, you only need one. And that was before I added this because I didn't realize that there was two of them that had two, 395. So what I did for the two that had 395, it would be that the selected items is greater than one. So that would be the set, uh, third and this would be, so greater than one, so that's greater than the second item, and less than four, then 395. Then you put that total cost equals the, the 395 plus total amount. This is good for the second two choices in the list box. And the form conference, you go to back to the first form, you put your label, you put your text in there, you put your change your variable over to, whoops, what did I do? String. And then to display the first form, you have to you have to make the first form false. To dis or to, you have to make your con uh, conf uh, options form false before you can redisplay your conference form. So that's how that works. So when we run that, and I said the function wasn't used because I didn't need it, which is fine. It's cool. So like I said. Select your items. Got your way and voila. Anyway, that's Visual Basic Programming Challenge 7 1 for Introduction to Visual Basic by Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine for Shasta College. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.